Burundi is located in East Central Africa, south of the equator. It borders Rwanda on the north, Tanzania on the east, Lake Tanganyika and the Democratic Republic of the Congo on the west. Burundi is slightly smaller than Maryland. The western area of the country includes the Ruzizi River and Lake Tanganyika. East of this area is mountainous, and farther east is a region of plateaus where most of the population lives. The capital of Burundi is Bujumbura. Burundi is a small, poor, and densely populated country. The economy of Burundi relies almost entirely on agriculture. Farmers grow beans, corn, plantains, and coffee, which is Burundi's chief export. The official languages of Burundi are French and Kurundi, a Bantu language. About two-thirds of the people are Christian, and the rest follow traditional beliefs. Like Rwanda, Burundi experiences tensions between the Hutu and Tutsi ethnic groups. Since 1993, approximately 200,000 Burundians have died in clashes between the two sides. Even as efforts at peace are underway, the State Department continues to warn United States citizens against travel to Burundi. The United Nations is preparing a peacekeeping force to help resolve many of the country's political problems to improve life for future Burundians. Rwanda is a small, landlocked country lying south of the equator in east-central Africa. It is bordered by the Democratic Republic of the Congo on the west, Uganda in the north, Tanzania in the east, and Burundi in the south. Rwanda is the most densely populated country in Africa, with nearly 8 million people, more than half of whom live in poverty. Rwanda is a primarily agricultural country, with 90% of the workforce in subsistence farming. Kigali is the capital and largest town. A civil war began in 1990 between the Hutu, who account for almost 90% of the Rwandan population, and the Tutsi people. At the height of the violence in 1994, it is estimated that 800,000 Rwandans, mostly Tutsi, died. Tutsi forces defeated the Hutus and assumed control of the government in July 1994. Today, many Rwandan children are responsible for taking care of their family and raising their younger siblings because their parents died during the genocide. In addition to going to school, these children attempt to provide food, clothes, and shelter to their siblings. According to the United Nations Children's Fund, more than 100,000 children are living in households without adults. The situation in Rwanda has gained the attention of international aid organizations that are working to improve the children's quality of life and to protect their human rights.